It's a free and fabulous sight to see. The Parade of Planets is happening now in our night sky. Vanessa Murdoch has specifics on how many planets you can spot with the naked eye and the best time to catch the parade. Our night sky under clear skies, stunning. It just reminds you of how uh, infinite the universe really is and how small we, we are. Over the weekend, this spectacular sight sparked wonder. I mean, my goodness, Venus was so bright in the night sky the other night. Venus, one of the seven planets in this parade. We spoke with Noah Petro of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center and Jackie Fayerty with the American Museum of Natural History to learn more. It's a parade because they will march across the same path. The ecliptic says Faraday, the path all planets are on as they orbit the sun. To see all seven this time, you'll need binoculars or a telescope. Uranus and Neptune are not visible to your eye, and Mercury is really close to the sun, and it's going to give you trouble. But with the naked eye... You should have a good view of, of Venus, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, the moon uh, in the night sky. Very romantic. Especially in uh, February. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. You know, we're New Yorkers, so it's hard to see the night sky with all the buildings. Hard? Not impossible. West-facing waterfront can be a great place to catch the parade. Get there just before sunset. Settle away from direct light. Note the location where the sun kisses the horizon. And you're going to look carefully to that same area where the sun just set for another bright object that's setting. That will be Saturn disappearing quickly. The other ones are gonna be much easier to see because they're gorgeous. Mars shines red. Venus outshines everything but the moon. And Jupiter, second brightest in the night sky. All seven planets being visible isn't every year. It's probably every couple of years. It happens with enough irregularity that we have to remind ourselves of how spectacular it is. Both Petro and Faherty hope the parade of planets sparks more interest in what's out of this world. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS News, New York. And the Parade of Planets will be visible for most of February, weather permitting, of course. And then a total lunar eclipse will steal everyone's attention come March.